Michelin Tire Corporation v. Wages, 1976. The Michelin Tire Corporation had a warehouse in Gwinnett County, Georgia. Michelin stored imported tires from France and Canada in the warehouse for later distribution. The tires were unloaded from intermodal containers from ships, sorted, and then stored. The county imposed a property tax on the goods within the warehouse because they argued that the tires had lost their distinctive character as imported goods once they were unloaded from the containers. Michelin argued that the goods within the warehouse were free from state taxation because the tires were still wrapped in the original tissue paper they were imported. In addition, it was impractical to individually package some items shipped in bulk. Regardless, Michelin argued that the tax was a violation of the Import-Export Clause of Article I of the Constitution, as defined by the Original Package Doctrine from the 1871 Supreme Court decision Lowe v. Austin. This case went all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court. In an eight-to-nothing decision, the Supreme Court overturned its Lowe v. Austin decision of 1871 and ruled the state could tax the imported goods. The court ruled that so long as the tax assessed was non-discriminatory, taxing all goods on an equal footing, regardless of whether it was imported or domestic good, was not a violation of the Import-Export Clause of the Constitution.